Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now, welcome back to, welcome to part two of the deck profiles, two part deck profiles for your videos for this week. And until my next day off and we'll see what happens on that once. But anyways, this video is going to be part for Flinty Rosa for lyrical part two. Yes, we're going to be continuing the lyrical saga for next two, two days or so, hopefully. And now what I understand about Flu Flinty Rosa is that one, she's a fucking vampire and I love vampires more than anything. And this deck is consisted of ghost types. So take it, for, take it from someone who wanted to do this deck for Halloween, never got a chance to do that. So slap me across the face if you must. But yeah, I'm making up for you, making up for it tonight by displaying tonight. So. Flinty Rose is consistent about the number of ghosts you have in your, I think, whether in your drop zone and in your hand, and then some effects will kind of happen. So we'll go down the, the right line and, yeah, see what happens. So for a ride deck, we're going to be playing Great Zero, Admire Dear Sister Flinty Rosa, which it looks like she's drinking her blood juice, her kombucha juice, because she doesn't drink kombucha, because she's dead, but she's hot, so who cares, but she drinks the blood of, actually, I don't even want to know what she drinks at, at, that, at that school, but yeah, that's how she gets started. So, I guess I forgot to mention in my first video that the lyrical monsters are based on future idols, so they are technically descendants of the Bermuda Triangle uh, clan, who are now following their ancestors' footsteps 3,000 years later, so... These are the new generation of idols, and they're all coming from different nations because they want to quit their jobs after parents are kind of grinding them or somewhat, but we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure tuition at the college is expensive. There you go. So anyways, one of her, for grade one, we're playing Beautiful Day Off, uh, Flenty Rosa for grade two. And Flenty Rosa's ability is, when this unit is rode, is rode upon, Soul Blast 1, choose up to one ghost from your drop zone and put it into your hand. During your turn, if you have a ghost in your in your rear guard, put this unit gets two thousand power. Wait, is it a ghost on your rear guard? So it's Vanguard or rear guard related. So there you go. <clears throat> and next, I'll play Grade Two Talent of Enjoyment Flinty Rosa. When this unit is run upon, reveal a ghost normal unit from your hand and put it on on top of your on the top of your deck. Choose a ghost from your drop zone and put it into your hand. During your turn, if you have three or more ghosts in your rear guard, this unit gets plus 5k power until the end of it into 5k power. And that's continuous ability. So that is not a bad skill for someone who likes to be on van vanguard and rear guard. So she's not doing all that bad. And I guess for this uh, future lyrical Monsterio deck, they're showing the main grade zero units that are basically evolving to higher stages. So, you know, day off, enjoyment of talent and enjoyment. And then finally for the boss herself in this deck, Rondo of Eventide Moon, Flenty Rosa. And yes, I say Rosa in Spanish because I'm trying to do my arrows. Because like, I like hearing Spanish a little bit. It's not too bad. And so Flinty Rose's ability is, and I have a copy of it in my hand, when, you're, when your drive check reveals a ghost normal unit, you may call that unit O to an open front row. Rear guard, if you called, Cow Blast 1, and, it's, and this unit gets plus 1 drive, and to end that battle. So, believe it or not, Flinty Rose can do a triple drive other than Sarah Snow. So, so yeah, that's pretty awesome right there. And, but it all, has to be, it all comes down to if you do a ghost. Which this whole deck is consistent of ghost types. So that's not a problem for Flinty Rosa. So that is the lineup. And the slings I'm using is um, Orphis's uh, Zex's colors because they have the great uh, bluish gray with a little purple in it. So that's not too bad for her. It's kind of fitting for her, honestly. <coughs> oh, damn. Okay, I guess. It, hold on. <clears throat> Sorry guys, that was awful. <clears throat> so anyways, 
as I was saying, my trigger lineup will always be the same until the newer stuff comes out, then I'll start changing over time. But this is the builds I currently like to play and understand better. So, please, once again, please respect, please, please, please respect my choices and decisions about what playstyle I like to choose. You guys can do your own builds. It's okay. No one's going to judge you for it. I just expect you guys not to judge me for having a different opinion. That's all. All right. For heals, I'm playing four Lagood Languid uh, Relaxation Margarites. Margarites. That's a ghost heal trigger. Next, uh, for for seven crits, I'm playing four of the Glutton Noras, all in Holo Rare, because this is a ghost deck and they deserve it more. And then three copies of Greeting Dragon Scale Icy? Or Liss, Lissy? Or something like that? I can't t say what it is. It's like I I S E or L L S E. I don't know. You guys can say it in the name. I just don't know how to pronounce it right. So my bad. Four uh, Ghost Front Triggers, which is Spiritoso, uh, Regalts, Regalts, and that's again all hollow. And then we're for using the Demon Demon Trigger, Demonic Fever, Garveria. So there's that one. And this is the trigger lineup I've chosen, which is trying to get more ghostly and demonic and um, not sexualizing, but yeah, just all the above scary. Grade ones. Uh, I don't believe there's not many grade ones in here. I play uh, twelve grade ones actually. So, oh no, eleven. Sorry, my bad. I miscounted. So three copies of uh, Joint Grasp Ernesta. So that's our first, um, because I believe that the hollow versions go first, always. And this is a back row ability. When when your other ghost is placed during, place on rearguard during the battle phase, stand this unit. So it's a stander, pretty much. So as long as she's in the back row, which I think it's kind of okay. So what you're probably going to have to do is boost with her first and then attack and then if you luckily enough are able to call a, another ghost then you might be able to stand her and gain another attack and boost off it so again this may be a card I'm still learning about but it's, so far the effect is amazing next I'm playing four copies of little lady Helmina Helmina and Helmina's ability is when this unit is placed on rear guard if you have another ghost on your rear guard, choose one of your rear guards and gets 5,000 power until the end of the turn. <sighs> so, obviously, they're all ghosts, so, and they all can go through outside or inside, but yeah, good enough. <laughs> and then, since there's not really a ghost complete guard or anything, not yet, I don't think, I'm gonna be using the elf music musical committee Nicolini for my complete guards just cuz um, there really isn't a ghost complete guard yet so that's kinda what I'm doing right now so this is be entitled to your own opinion but this is my current build for grade 1 of this deck okay grade 2 obviously it's gonna be 8 grade 2's again which is totally okay with me because that's one way I can actually learn better for this deck and eventually grow and make it more better because it's still it's still doing its early stages so I'm using four copies of dedicated serenade serenade Eleanor so four of her and this skill is when his unit attacks soul blast one or two two okay two cards you know what fuck it I'm just gonna actually read it right here so and this unit gets 15,000 power in the end of that battle at the end of the battle at that battle put this unit on top of your deck. So, it kind of reminds me of the whole ghost trick in Yu-Gi-Oh! When, after ghost tricks affect their abilities go off and, sh and shit not, um, they flip it face down, and they get the effect again, so they're trick-or-treating this bitch. <laughs> so, we got Eleanor doing that, and at the end of that battle, she goes on top of your deck. So, this will help you get more drive checks for Plenty Rosa as well. 
I'm I'm digging it. I can see why it stays at four. And then finally, we're playing four copies of Hair Breeding Inspira Aspiration um, Hellwig. Her name is Hellwig. And her skill is, when this unit is placed on rear guard during the, your battle phase, put this unit into your soul and draw a card. That's probably gonna be a good thing or a bad thing. I just can't tell the side right now. But believe it or not, this card is actually not a hundred percent too bad. But the sad part is when it's called during the battle phase. So you're gonna have to find a way to make it make it more possible to get her on the field and then draw a free card. But other than that, this is not really a bad build. I've been testing it with some friends at my locals. Um, it still has a lot of maybe a lot of kinks here and there, but let's be honest here, every deck's gonna have a kink, so it's gonna be okay. It's not the end of the world yet, <laughs> yet. Be the keyword. And no, I'm not high on marijuana. I'm just trying to take back life a little bit. So next, finally for grade threes, we're playing of course three flinty flame more flinty rosas for that personal right ability, and four co four copies of. Um, Capricio of Circulating Star Ingrid. And I'm kind of getting the feeling that Ingrid reminds me of the gold palette Ingrid from the Quintet Wall kind of thing. I think she might have died and can become a ghost and start working as, as a lyrical monster unit. Not just me saying, but oh well. Anyways, um, Ingrid's ability is when this unit is placed on rear guard other than from hand, ca counter charge one card. Choose one of your other rear guards in the same column as this unit and stand it. When this unit attacks, if this unit gets 5k power and to the end of that battle, at the end of the battle, put this unit on the bottom of your deck. So the grade 2 does the top and the grade 3 does the bottom. Jeez, who's more dominant in the relationship? I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, um, finally for grade 3s, and yes, we're playing 10 grade 3s in this deck. Um, selfie practice Annelise is the next one and her skill is at the end of the battle this unit attacked while boosted put this unit into your soul choose the one of your rear guards and it gets 5k power into the end of the turn so this does a lot more boosting as well like 5k 5k um, possibilities of standing standing your rear guards possibility of God knows what to be honest with you <laughs> But yeah, I guess all these effects can happen if Flinty Rose is on the field. So that's what's kind of happened. So hope to God you can survive unless you're getting your ass beat by Zorga or Eugene or something like that. So I don't know how strong this deck actually is with other other nations yet. We're still testing in testing phases, but I'm excited to try them all. And that concludes the deck, everybody. I hope you guys really enjoyed this this week's two-part deck profile video featuring um kari and flinty rose which is over here and yeah if you guys have any comments what or questions whatsoever leave it down below and if you guys like the content i'm currently making right now even though the year is almost over and yeah please subscribe like this video thumbs up for the video comment down below um i don't have a patreon so don't ask me for patreons because i don't do patreon shit not even my only fans i don't even do that shit either so <laughs> don't ask and yeah if you guys like the video be sure to like it um press the like button and yeah give me your own two cents to see what happens here so um currently none of the lyricals have a current owner in the anime yet because it hasn't appeared yet so there are just free agents right now looking pretty anyways you guys i'll see you guys in the next video maybe i'll see you after thanksgiving so if i don't see you before thanksgiving then i'm just gonna say go stuff yourself and have a good time and have a turkey have a good turkey day. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm Siren Frost signing out. Good night guys.